Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor. You! Stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid answering, speak for themselves. Answer my question. Yes, I believe it to be so. Really? If that's the case, what is the name of the most holy of men? He who transmitted the Divine Testament. For how long are you going to stand this questioning? He insults you. Silence, demon spawn. I am not asking you the questions. Everyone in the world knows that the holy prophet and founder of Teleme is Matthäus. You seem well versed in your readings of the righteous faith. One final question, and you may continue along your path. What gift? Did his sacred divinity award us when we accepted the words of his divine prophet?
He gave us magic. But it is a rather tricky theological enigma. Many would argue that he offered us far more than that. Precisely. Precisely. Your answers blur and your tongue wavers. You are no true believer. Your words seem tainted in lies, ruse, and deceitful purpose. You shall have to learn to live with it. We have tolerated this interrogation long enough. Your companion's attitude reveals your lack of faith and commitment. Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Enough! This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter, and I am certain that we shall meet again. Young man, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor, the horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive. 
and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter.
Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait, this is the Onol Mena? I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a man different from the other Rinaixe amongst the Lugayan Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed. We cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaixe do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it, or the suns will keep burning our people. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Go back to town. We'll wait for you. We need to know where they are taking our brothers. You know how much the Ordo Luminous dislikes the Knots. If they catch us here, I'm in big trouble.
This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. It's a key, most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information, hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you want us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This man is a monster, like the other Red Sons. Did you see the way he looked at me? I'm certain that he didn't believe you. He will probably come back. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition.
Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope they'll manage to free our brothers and sisters who are prisoners. What these monsters are doing to them is horrible. Is back. So, I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. Bit of poison on my brain. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Vertir to mad on all Menawi. And thanks again.